Hello, welcome to St. Henry's class, a channel where we make learning so easy and absorbable. It's the first time of watching our videos. Please subscribe, hit on the notification bell, so as any video drops, you get access to them so easily. Today, I want to take our learners, or I want to um, take a quick notice or education on some programs and the subjects that are offered in the various second cycle schools or what we call the senior high schools. Now I know students are um, selecting their school, they are doing their school selection. There's a column called the program and we all select the program. We need to know what each program entails. The subjects that are there, there's something we call electives. We need to know them and then we have a fair idea of what we are going to do at the secondary level. So the first um, thing is I have something small on this year's BC statistics. A total candidate of um, 600,714 candidates wrote to the BC exams. The number of males were 300,323 as against 300,391 females and all these students will be placed by a system called the CSSPS that is the computerized school selection and placement system now a list of senior high schools okay. in Ghana so in Ghana here we have the public cycle second cycle schools we also have private institutions but we are taking a closer look at the public second cycle institutions now they have been grouped into four categories so category A the highly or overly subscribed schools category b averagely subscribed schools category c the under subscribed schools and category d the catchment area schools now all technical and vocational education and training institutions have been grouped or categorized into a b and c and added to the senior high school or the senior high technical schools I think we all seen that in the schools register where we used to select our schools. We also have the science, technology, engineering and mathematics schools. So currently as we speak now, these are the public second cycle institutions that we have. The senior high, the senior high technical and the STEM schools. And as we speak, about seven of the science STEM schools are in operation. And those that are still on their selection, the category A has all the science, technology, Now the number of second cycle schools. schools based on their categories. So with the senior high school, we have 506 of them in the country. That's those that run the general programs. We also have the senior high technical schools, 193. That's those that run senior high, including technical courses. We have the technical and vocational institutes, about 212, and the science, technology engineering and mathematics school stem schools we have seven of them in operation seven of them in operation now so we have the categories of them down there now note all students irrespective of the course that or program that you would offer each student is going to offer a compulsory six core subjects in the year one and year two academic year so all students should know this six core subjects two of them are not examinable though they are also inclusive to another core subject but it is necessary for you to do them what are these four core subjects so it is stated all students irrespective of your course will offer the six um core subjects in addition to four electives so you, you know you're doing 10 but generally it's supposed to be eight the other two are just many hour courses they're not just many hour though they are just added subject that are added just to broaden your horizon in terms of our computing world you know we are in the computing era what we call computer world and also in terms of your health as in PE, physical education, sports, health, is also necessary. That is why these two things have been added. But the major ones are English, 
integrated science here they are done individually according to science the integrated science the study of the various multiple fields of science so here we teach you the multiple fields of science individually so we have core biology we have core chemistry core physics and core agri social studies is there general or core maths we have ICT, Information and Communication Technology, which is not examinable by YX, sorry, as I've stated there. And Physical Education, PE, which is also not examinable. Actually, you are going to do these two courses in the first year, and then with the final year, you don't do them. They are not examinable by YX. So I believe you are following. You are going to do six core subjects plus four electives. And the electives are based on what the school has done, the combination by the school. So I'll try telling you some of the combinations. Now, a list of programs or courses offered in the second cycle schools. The first one is agricultural programs. Agricultural programs. So we have agricultural programs, business programs. We have general programs. What are the general programs? We have general science and general arts. General Science and General Arts. General Arts is the most most um, preferred course. Then with that, you can move to Business and Science and the others. Visual Arts is also treated in the Senior High. Home Accounts or what others call Home Science is also the Technical Programs and the STEM Programs. The STEM Programs are also part of the slide that I have, so we'll see that shortly. So these are the courses offered in the Senior High Schools in Ghana both private or public yeah so each of this course has subject that you would treat under each of the course so i've been able to also compile a number of subjects though i didn't do it according to the um uh, the course or the program but i would do something about that. as i do this presentation i would be seeing some of the combinations so we have biology we have chemistry we have in physics you have elective maths these are science um subjects science related subjects this biology is not the other one we saw in the the other slide this biology is an elective biology so whilst compulsorily you do core biology core physics core um chemistry core agric you also have an elective biology those will be doing science you also see physics elective physics you see elective chemistry you see elective math, you see geography. We also have other schools that have ICT elective to it, elective ICT to it. So here only four, but not your combination, but what the school has done. So preferably, or um, when you go to most schools, some of the four electives, you have biology, physics, chemistry, and elective math combined. If you don't want to do biology, then you choose geography, elective mass, chemistry, and physics. If you don't want also geography, you choose physics, chemistry, elective mass, and ICT. These are some of the combinations in some of the schools that I uh, have actually um, consulted some teachers and also asked some students on. Yes, and from my experience, where I also attended school, some of the combinations that are there. We have financial accounting, business management, cost accounting. So these are also from the business side these are three one more will be added so sometimes you can see financial accounting business management cost accounting and elective maths we have schools that have that combination my school had that combination we also have financial accounting business management cost accounting or accounts or accounts we also have financial accounting business management cost accounting or french so the next one so french is there and the combinations in some of the economics is there then literature and english is there government is there then ghanaian languages west african so we've now moved to the literature um sorry the general arts side the french accounts are also added to the business some of them also do that combination. So, accounts, French, is also in general art as well. Mm -hmm. So, literature in English is there, government is there, Ghanaian languages, West African religious studies, Christian religious studies, Islamic religious studies. These are from the general art side. So, what are some four combinations? You can have an elective mass 
So mind you, elective maths can also be treated by general arts students. So elective maths, geography, history, um, government, accounts. You see, you can also have geography, history, government, and you will not do elective maths. So you will choose maybe three or maybe French or maybe literature based on the school's combination. Management in living, food and nutrition, clothing and textiles, knowledge in art, GKA, graphic design. These are also from the home account side. Okay. Then we have ceramics and sculpture work, basketry, leather work, picture making. These are from the visual art side. Building, construction, technology, electronics, fashion and designing, carpentry and joinery. Industrial mechanics, electrical installation work, metal work, photography, plumbing, crafts, welding and fabrication, woodwork. These are from the technical and vocational side. Now, animal husbandry, crop husbandry and horticulture, fisheries, forestry, general agric. These are from the agricultural side. Music is in general arts. Yes, music. Music and dance. History is there. Jewelry is there, textiles, applied electricity, auto mechanics, technical drawing, typewriting. We also have clerical office duties, agric mechanics, um, auto body repair and refinishing, block laying and concreting, kitchen, computer technology, cosmetology. All these are from the vocational and technical courses. Cosmetology. Drought manship, electrical installation work, electrical machine rewinding, fashion, furniture crafts, general textiles, heavy duty and diesel mechanics. All of these are from the technical side. Mechanical engineering crafts practice, motor vehicle mechanics, painting and decoration, plumbing crafts, printing, radio and television. Refrigerating and air conditioning, small engines repair, computer hardware technology, computer science. So these from um, number 74 to 79 are the STEM courses that are currently running in the seven STEM schools that I talked about. So we have aviation, aeronautics, engineering, biomedical science, global studies, and computer science is also part. Yes. So we have STEM schools that are doing these courses. So if you choose aviation, aeronautics, engineering, biomedical science, they are there. And then you do your in your four core electives or the six core electives in addition. And the STEM schools, in fact, it is very necessary. It is very important too. So those who wish to offer purely science um, courses or science related um, courses, please. You can be advised to opt for STEM programs or the school that you choose, you make sure you opt for a general science program. Don't choose any course and have the perception that when you go, you change it. Sometimes it is difficult changing courses. That's what students need to note and parents as well. Now, the next page will tell us some career opportunities and that goes with the programs that we've talked about so generally these are some of the career opportunities those of us who still find ourselves wanting as to what we do after senior high general arts students these are some of the um career opportunities available for you there are more of them but i was able to compile just a number of them you can go through them you can see banking the statistician you can see a meteorologist a surveyor a musician a hostess there's a lot of them so you can pause and go through them. If you want to write some of them too, you can also do that. The next one will take us to general science. So the career opportunities under general science. A medical doctor, nurse, teacher, pilot, veterinary officer, extension officer. These are all the dentists and the like. Then business, clerical officer, banker, lecturer, auditor, accountant, a human resource manager. They are all there. Then move to home economics. After pursuing your course in a senior high, there are a lot of things you can do. You can be a teacher, a nurse, you can work in the textile industry, you can be a designer and the like. You can be a caterer, events planner, ICT, information technology. There's a course like that in the senior high. Those who 
out for ICT or those who do the ICT core or the elective. Let me stress on the elective, which is sometimes included in the visual arts. Uh -huh. You can be a programmer, a data analyst. Now, you know ICT is really now. So it's important for you to take it very serious. A graphic designer and the like. Visual art is also there. An architect is there. A cartoonist, a cinematographer and the like. These are all there. Now let's go to the... Alright, so I think that brings us to the end of the presentation. I believe you did see quite one or two been able to take you through the courses that are offered in the senior high the, the subjects that are inclusive in the courses that you've chosen and need to know what you'll be doing there so I've tried my best to compile this for my students so here's where we draw the curtains down see you next time on the next episode I go by the name Sir Henry a humble tutor nice having you on this channel if this is your first time of watching please subscribe to our channel so we can always come your way with exciting videos thank you god bless you and make you great bye for now